Hello and welcome to EU4. I've never done a series on EU4, but I thought I'd do one. I really love this game. This is actually one of my favorite Paradox games literally ever made. Uh, and I did a poll that you will see on the screen now. Uh, we voted for who we want to see play and the winner was Morocco. So we're going to be playing Morocco. Um, I have played as Morocco before and I kind of think they are a very fun nation to play. I also think they're pretty difficult as well because you have Spain and Portugal that will uh, eventually try to murder you. Um, I think the goal for this campaign is to get like most of North Africa. I'm thinking eventually take out the Mamluks. Uh, we could also do a fun like colonization Morocco where we colonize so I either might do a kind of conquest of Africa idea or maybe um, colonizing uh, South America. We also of course will try to do the re uh, the re reconquista where we take over uh, uh, Iberia. So let's go ahead and get started. This is actually I think recommended or a nation you can play in the Empire of Sands time period. But this is truly a game that I enjoy playing and I'm glad that there is an interest to uh, play EU4. I am a bit uh, rusty to playing EU4 so it might take a couple episodes for me to figure out how to play again. Uh, we don't have any rivals and it looks like Aragon and Castile and Portugal are all our rivals. And those are the only people we can make our rivals. So that is a pretty rough start, and I think that might be usually how it is. Um, so that is a rough start to have those three guys be our rivals. Uh, we really want an alliance with the Ottomans, um, so that is going to be our goal. Tunis is also another good choice to be our ally. Let's see how many diplo um, diplomats do we have left, how many alliances. So we can make one more uh, relation. And I'm thinking we should look at who we can currently get an alliance with. A lot of these menus are not in the base game, but are very good uh, uh, things, in my opinion. I'm thinking we do not want to do Granada, because that's just going to get us into a war right away. I'm thinking Tunis might be a good idea to get into an alliance with. Um, the Mamluks and Ottomans are very far away from us. Eventually, we would like to get them an alliance. But we're going to go ahead and offer an alliance with Tunis. Um, they're pretty powerful at the start, so that could maybe help us a little bit, but it's going to be rough. We might lose some land in the beginning, but we're just going to have to uh, try not to lose too much. Uh, it's definitely been a while since I've played, so I'm going to... It's going to take me a while. Um, I think we can... Can we annex Vassal? Yeah, we just need to take a while, so let's go ahead and improve the opinion with our uh, own subjugated countries. I think it might be a good idea to do with neighbors and then I usually keep one diplomat free so that I can do what I will with that person. A uh, low crowd land, so we do not own a lot of territory, um, which is pretty bad. So we could either seize the land and people will get mad at us, which I think I'm going to do right away is I'm going to uh, seize the land so we get rid of that debuff. Our states are going to be a little mad at us, but that's probably for the best. And then I'm probably not going to um, hire any advisors right now, especially because we are lacking money. So let's go over to our soldiers and actually our economy is what I want to go to and make our army maintenance down. Right now it doesn't matter, but eventually we want to get enough army maintenance so we, so we can drill and make our troops better. Is there an army leader? Oh, we could recruit an army leader, but we probably don't need to. Oops, I pressed the wrong button and I tabbed out. Oh no, screen dying. Screen dying. Okay. So we fast forward. I almost always play in four speed. I think it's really risky not to play four speed. Well, let's also do a royal marriage, I'm pretty sure, with these guys. Um, humiliate rival. Yeah, we have those. So let's do a royal marriage with Tunis. We have the, uh, our vassals uh, doing royal marriages, and I'm just going to go ahead and do those royal marriages. Um, is now tolerant. Tolerance of heretics and heathens. The surrender of Maine declared war on France in restrictionary union. France takes over Maine. France in this nation, especially with the Austria Empire uh, DLC, is really cool in my opinion. France is a lot more unique with all their vassals and stuff like that. HRE is also really fun to play. There's so much to do in EU4. I really think EU4 is a solid game and I really enjoy playing it. 
So we're making money. Uh, let's look at uh, what we have for a our. Um, where's the menu that I'm looking? At? Missions. What do we want to do? Stability, at least one. Um, and the fog must be true. The year is 1500 resolve, waste, and reward. Okay, so that we need to get stability is one. Then also, what is here? Claim those islands, and I think that will be a little hard. Oh, we can colonize. So maybe we can colonize. What is um, owned? Uh, have a mosque development at least 15. Oh, so we have to build some mosques. Okay, so we want to increase our stability and then get some mosques. That's our, our on our first agenda. So let's go ahead and do that. The Kingdom of Italy for years been waning. So did they just leave the HRE? Oh, dang, something, some update must have happened because I lost all my um, uh, map modes that I had here. I had a whole bunch of map modes that I like to uh, have, but apparently they all went away. So I might have to um, add some map modes. Where's the culture map mode? The culture one is something I like to add too. What other is trade there? Trade is there. Religious is there. Rebels. Um, opinions good, and and coalition is also another good one to have in case we uh, go too fast. And I think that's pretty much. Where is actually colonization? Colonization is another must uh, have. Colonial trades. Okay, so we got the map modes. Uh, hints we'll probably get rid of in a little bit. Um, let's actually go back to the political. Um, yes, they went to Moldova, happened. Okay, so eventually uh, Castile is going to go to war with Granada, I'm pretty sure. Uh, at what time will they do that? I don't know because I'm not their ally. I don't want to deal with that problem. Um, all we want to do is focus on our country. So we need to get our stability up. See, I, this is definitely a hard nation to play, so I'm actually kind of glad that you guys uh, made me play Morocco, because I think some of the other nations are a little easy. Poland, for example, I feel like is not too hard. You just kind of bully your small little puppets, do a union with Lithuania, and bully uh, the good old uh, Soviets, or Russia. The last century has been harsh and unforgiving, one of the con uh, countries of blank, due to increasing this desertification, shrinking urban population, general famine, and increasingly strong groups disloyal of nomads roaming the countryside. Most of the states in North Africa have seen better day. While things are looking up a bit lately, internal trade is on the rise, and there are signs of increased urbanization again. Our states still shadows of their former selves. Many fear this. The once the Iberians have finished the kingdom of Granada, they will be coming. Let them rise again. Yeah. So once they do kill Granada. They usually do come down here because it's their focus tree. Um, so it's not called a focus tree, it's called missions, but I'm probably going to call it focus tree for now. Um, they've called claims. They have fabricated claims. Of course they have. They usually, usually do. I do think this new power is actually very unique, so I think we might do that. Is there any, um, we can unify Islam. This is a good one to get. Um, an adopt caliph. So, Definitely with that uh, one stability, and eventually once we get to building churches, we'll do that. Um, so it looks like we're doing uh, doing good so far. Not much is going to happen this first episode. It's more of just setting everything up, making sure that we're not going to blow up, and hopefully Granada doesn't uh, murder us because you know they really like to murder us sometimes. Um, not Granada murdering us, Castile murdering Granada, and then Granada. I thought we... Oh, we need 95 now. Okay. So we have the one stability. And then all we have to do is uh, 1500 and handle the revo revolt. We can f definitely fast forward it. Um, we're improving with our vassals. Uh, 54 is when really anything's going to happen. A lot of these early years, not a lot happens. So, oh, are you guys at war with somebody? No, you're improving relations. We might go to war though. So we just got to be careful. Ooh, do, do I have naval maintenance up? I think I do. Let's lower naval maintenance. Fleet maintenance down. A pretender raised army itself. Oh, Granada's having internal conflicts, which is bad. We need a shake up. Well, I'm glad I um, increased our stability because it just went down. And I'm saving a whole bunch of gold up. So then once we have the uh, technology to build a uh, 
uh, mosques that I can just go ahead and build a couple of them. I think that we can actually maybe hire an advisor to... What are we lacking? We are lacking um, administrative power. So let's go ahead and get a administrative uh, for cheap as possible. National tax modifier. Yes, let's do that. So we will do that. Just to get the um, little bonus in administrative power. Oh, did I kick him? Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, I forgot how to hire people. Uh, pretend like you guys didn't see that. That was a big mistake. We're going to absolutely pretend like we didn't see that happen. Uh, establish. Morocco gets tell giving the following. And we lose ducats. Yeah, uh, establish measures in the whole country. Are we at, uh, we're not friends with these people, I don't think. How powerful are they? 12k troops. I think we can actually go to war with these people to uh, take some land from them. So let's go ahead and uh, build a spy network. And then we can fabricate a claim on them. For you that are new to EU4, to uh, get war goals if they're not from your mission tree, you have to fabricate claims and stuff like that. So, we're going to go to war with these guys. Um, they're actually getting their butt kicked right now. Great Boom Famine. Oh, that's bad. Oh, France is, France is doing good. Okay, France usually does good against England. <gasps> but England's murdering Scotland already. Dang. Okay, so... Tunis is doing alright in their war. I'm surprised Tunis didn't call us in the war to help them. I don't really see why they didn't want to do that. Um, we are making a decent amount of money, but when we raise our troops, we are going to be losing money. Um, 25 towards mysticism. Mysticism, what does that do again? That, uh, no, I don't like mysticism. I really like, uh, the good old allelism to get the manpower up, technology costs down, and national tax modifier. So, we're just gonna keep on going. We don't got too much to do right now. So we should be fine. Worldly Ulema. A few transgressions. Get corruption. Ooh. The state loses and we lose corruption. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, they're going to be mad at us, but it's okay. It's not. They're not too disloyal. So eventually they're, they'll pick back up to being loyal in a matter of no time. So I'm not too worried. Okay, we can... I'm not going to actually increase our stability. Actually... I'm going to increase our stability, and I'm just going to leave it at 1 for now. Oh, Granada is currently getting murdered. The best thing to happen for Granada is if they uh, actually take two wars to take them over. So sometimes Spain pieces out for half of Granada, and sometimes they piece out for all of Granada. And if they piece out for uh, only half of Granada, I think we should be fine. Uh, we did fabricate enough claims on these guys, so what is the, I kind of want this big, no, we want Dara. Where's Dara at? Why can we claim? No, that's going to make bad borders. So let's do this place we'll make a claim for. So technically if we want, we can declare war on these guys now. Um, if we stop building. Um, uh, support the moderates. If we declare war... How, oh, so no one will join, oh, this will actually be a pretty good war if we do, um, because neither allies will join. So let's go ahead and raise our troops. It, I know it automatically happens, um, but just get them a little bit ready before. So we're going to have them get uh, all readied up and ready to go. And then we're gonna go to war with this nation. The good thing I like about EU4 is that you can take more than just your claims. Oh, for some time, relations between Alka and have been strongly colored by distress and conflict. Some scholars have gone as far as denounce the theologians that other schools and followers. However, tensions have been greatly lessened in recent years with Moroccan, Malka, and Kuala Khan Islama scholars leading the way towards tolerance. God is great. Dang. That's good. Um, well, we're awful people, so we're gonna, uh, actually, let me, 100 and this... Ooh, cost for core return, 75%. I think, I don't know if we can take, uh, stability. Oh, these guys, we have good relations with them. Um, you know what we do? We send them an insult. Um, 
so then they like us a little bit less. That's usually what you do. And so now we don't have good relations anymore. It looks like Portugal's getting in front with Granada. Um, see, I think I'm going to go towards this because we'll get less aggressive expansion. So let's go ahead and declare war. And then you really just have to take uh, the good old forts. I'm going to lower the speed down. This is our good old forced, forced war for the first video. Um, I know that these it's nice to have these be all strong together. This would be eventually a nice alliance to have. Um, yeah, Tunis, you can have uh, uh, borders and stuff. But in reality, it, I just care about myself and I want to make myself more powerful. I know it's nice to have friends and stuff like that, but I don't care. Can you create a taxation policy? Um, land acquisition, corporation. Let's do uh, increased taxes for 20 years. Yes. So that's good. We also get money for that. And also, we are not in uh, minus for uh, the good old money. So that's good. So we should win this war, no problem whatsoever. Um, yeah, we, we're suffering casualties, it's okay. Can we, uh, see detach siege? Oh no, that's not the detach siege. And you guys go kill their units. Oh. Oh, we got them. Cancel, okay. And you guys can go see the neighboring territory. And then we should be good. And then this is a naval doctrine, but I have, I have, there's probably not much we're going to do with uh, naval stuff, so I think it's okay to not do anything. Our efforts to protect house those subjects who seek to perform their pilgrimage to the Holy City of Mecca and Medina have paid off. It is now long since there was a last raid in Realm's Peace. Good prestige. Um, let's, no, spare no expense. Um, and we occupied. And then we just have to take this fort, and then we can keep on expanding past. Forts are what are he forts are huge in this game. I think forts are pretty big in CK3 as well, but they're definitely way more important in this game because you can't pass forts without uh, conquering them, which makes sense, sort of. Uh, it kind of makes sense, uh, not really to be honest, but it still still makes sense. So are we getting close to some technology? We are getting close to uh, the marketplace because diplomatic. But that is not really what I care about too much. So we're going to... It's going to take a while to siege so we can fast forward a little bit. And we can just siege this stuff down. Ooh, look at Castile. Okay, so we got that and that gives us a huge amount of like war score for capturing their fort. So that's good too. And let's just, let's just go ham. We're probably gonna win this war no problem, because it is their only fort that they have, so. And it's okay that if our ally gets the reconquest, because, um, they get the territory, we eat them up, it's okay. Um, support. These guys get more mad at us, which is fine. We're already at war with them. They can only get so mad at us. Then Tunis just uh, pieced out for that land, so that's good. A recent caravan pilgrims from the Holy City was ambushed and plundered. We just talked about this. We need to spend more to protect them, yes. Um, offer peace deal. No, it's not 100% yet. The poor rabbit. A city grows the old amenities and walls that once supported them decay. Uh, we naturally support such a case. Oh, my 60%. Ooh. For how long? 4065. Hmm. Um. Uh, Shuttle Nobles can afford charity. My 60% is really, really bad. So, I'm sorry. We're not. Who is. Why are you about to fight me? Who's about to fight me? Um, let's sue for peace. So, this is going to be easy takings. And see, we can just expand like crazy who would be join the coalition just them so we can literally annex the entire nation right now which i am going to do because i am a maniac um so who's fighting me i'm so confused what's happening right now 
sense someone's fighting me, but there shouldn't be anyone fighting me. So. Oh, they're fighting each other. Okay, I was very confused. But yeah. So I went ahead and just went insane and conquered everything. So we'll go ahead and pour the entire nation. Um, you know, I'm kind of a maniac when it comes to this game. They're still having peace out with the Granada because Tunis is giving him a hard time, which, good job, Tunis. Keep it up, my dude. Um, I want you to just keep on giving him a hard time. Don't let him uh, get anything. And then lower the military maintenance as well. And then we'll get a enough to eventually core the entire nation. Our corruption is high. Is it lowering naturally right now? No. And that's just due to, uh, what's it called? Us having lack of cores and stuff like that over extension. So we're doing good. We're getting land. We conquered an entire nation. This is a good place to start. Should we continue this episode? I think I'm going to make the episodes around 25 minutes long, so they don't go too long. I think we might try to start annexing something. Uh... Petroleum. Oh, yes. Naples is actually another nation I would love to play because I usually get independent from Aragon now. So that would be a fun nation. I is also on my list to play eventually. But we will, I think we'll start annexing a nation possibly. Go from there. Uh, I kind of want to annex the most powerful nation, but they also have the most troops. So I think I might leave... Uh, the strong one, and I might uh, annex Seuss as the first one, just because they're the weakest. Because eventually, um, big old Castile and Portugal are going to attack us. We look at the where's the leaderboard? Oh my goodness, I haven't played this game in so long. Oops, I'm getting a phone call from Walgreens. There it is. Okay, so we are doing good. We conquered an entire nation. We could probably keep on going. Do we have a reason to declare war on them? Um, so we do not. They do seem a bit powerful. Not really. They, they seem pretty weak, but we have to not expand too fast uh, because we really did grab a lot, a lot of land. Um, so we gotta make sure we core everything first. Make sure all the kinks are out of the way. Turn off. Yes, turn off hints. Dude, I can't believe that they're still at war with Granada. That's actually insane. I think Tunis is really giving them a hard time. Uh, the Renaissance just changes everything. Uh, ignore... Um... Local unrest increased. Yeah, just ignore them. I don't think it should be too bad. Uh, make core. The spread of extreme practice of the guard. The late Middle Ages saw the emergence of several new forms of Islamic mysticism. One of the most controversial being a brand of Sufi dervish known as the... Ooh, these words. These men thought to separate themselves entirely from normal society, shaving all their body hair down to their eyebrows and publicly breaking rules of Shira in order to demonstrate their unique relationship with God, all while wandering from town to town begging for alms. Our religious scholars are calling for the prosecution, arguing that the uneducated populace's tendency to view them with awe will lead them away from the true faith. Expel them or leave them be. I shall leave them be. Just because I'm a nice guy, I don't feel like being mean to them. Are you guys 200%? Yes, you are. So, we can start annexing them in two years from now, which is probably the smart play. Uh, okay. Uh, we have gained a core. Yes, we did gain a core. And we sh Who are you allied with? Pheasant? Pheasant. Those guys over there. I'm thinking we could possibly expand... Now, I, th I don't think they're actually going to be peace out for the entire nation because Tunis is uh, giving them such a hard time. Oran is not considered a part, and now we can make a state. Ooh, I don't really want to make that state right now because Tunis controls most of it. Uh, the culture here is generally all the same, so that's good as well. Um, 
So I'm thinking... And it's not all the same, it's in the same subgroup. Um, oh, these guys just split apart. So I guess it might be a good time to actually um, take those guys over. Because there's not too much of them. Uh, it's not considered part of our domain. Noise. We're just making everything. So the high planes is good to be cored as a state. And we have to core all of it again. So... We're doing, we're doing good. Um, my Sulting Seal has entered a tree to support the independence of Sus. Oh, embarrasses the court bloom. Yes, of course that will happen. Um, one of your subjects has high liberty. Why? Why? Because Morocco, opinion of Morocco, trust towards Morocco, related power of all vassals. Um, well, they they definitely can, because Castile is being a butthead, and it looks like they did kill all of Granada. Well, hopefully they don't try to uh, break away for independence. I'd be pretty mad. Castile can definitely do that, because the guys are complete monsters. So, we'll see what they do. Why am I losing gold? Where am I? Fort maintenance. Oh... Well, let's go ahead and snowball our forts, or it's called mothball. So we mothball our forts and then we should start making money again, right? Yeah. Um, free slot advisors, yes. Four, 25. This is going to be already interesting. Um, we definitely can take these guys out, but I'm now a little worried that, that um, Castile is supporting the independence of some nations. They're definitely very powerful, more powerful than us, so hopefully we can uh, hold them off with the help of Tunis. Uh, gain base one tax. Noise. Um, these guys are rising up. Oh, there's re I didn't even realize that there was rebels popping up. That is my mistake. My bad. I uh, was not paying attention apparently. So let's go ahead and raise that army maintenance up. And you guys can uh, go deal with that. Who just declared war on us? Oh, sus. Oh. Castile is at war with us because it supported one of our vassals. This is going to be very, very bad. Um, I can tell you that already. Did Tunis join us? Tunis did join us. Um, Castile is going to be pretty hard to uh, beat though. So we'll we'll see how we do. Um, this is going to be pretty hard fought. I don't know why I did that. My units were not ready. So this is this is going to be a hard war to fight. For sure. And then I just entered my troops, so it's gonna be even harder. Okay. What is the game plan here? Unfortunately, I don't know what much of the game plan could be. We really would need Tunis to get their troops over here, and it doesn't look like they're going to, to stop this 23 here. Um, otherwise, I don't think there's much we can do. I guess we could, uh... Go ahead and bully these guys down here, which is what I think we really have to do. But we just need our, um, yeah, Castile's just gonna run rampant and murk us. So who's the main, uh, they, I think it's these guys are the main people we have to siege. So maybe if we siege down these guys, we should be good. So let's go ahead, and then we have these rebels that we have to deal with too at the same time. And our fleet got um, absolutely murked as well, so that's no good. We need a leader as well, but that is a uh, problem we'll deal with in a second. Dang, we are just getting absolutely murked. So my entire PC crashed, but we're doing absolutely awful. We have lost so many battles in this first war. We are probably just going to straight up end up losing. 
Um, you know, sometimes battles don't go too well, and this is one of those times where uh, Grave just has made 17 mistakes in a row, costing him the entire war. Um, so, maybe we can uh, bring it back. I don't have uh, high hopes on uh, bringing it back. It's going to be quite difficult. Um, so, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, I, I don't have very high hopes, though, if that makes sense. Uh, Tunis is going to, I guess, go try to siege that. I don't know why. But uh, hopefully we can uh, somehow at least get, like, a white piece, per se. So actually, let's um, fabricate a claim. And then, uh, what's it called? S stop building spy network. Uh, and then we can, uh, what's it called? White piece if we can. But to get a white piece offer, um, we, uh, we're, we're, we're doing pretty bad. So, it's gonna take a lot to get to a white piece. Um, hopefully we can siege some stuff down and get somewhere. Uh, it does not look good though, so let's just go ahead and see what we can do. Well, Castile looks like they're pulling their troops away. I don't know why they're doing that. Um, very interesting tactic to have there. Um, let's see if we can pull something out of our butt. I doubt it, but you know... It's always a good thing to try. Um, so, uh, divert resources, yeah. A little four speed. I just wish someone would kill these uh, rebels. Um, but doesn't look like them. Do stability. Uh, they remain. Uh, uh, kill them all. Let's do that. That's fine. And then we can increase stability at 96. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, 19 pretenders rise up. Oh man. That is uh, not good at all. Um, more rebels are popping up. We are doing extremely bad. This is a very poor start to this campaign. Um, extremely, extremely bad. At least we got our moral uh, morale up. Because uh, unfortunately we have a lot of uh, rebellions and such. And then also uh, we're in a war with Castile already. So hopefully we can win this war and then deal with the rebels later. Um, the rebels might get their, uh, independence per se, um, but actually maybe we can, should stop them there, see if we can do that. Maybe Tunis will help us. Recruit a general, yes, ooh, that's a pretty good general actually. And let's stop them there, and it looks like Tunis is going to help us, so it looks like we might actually win a battle. Wow. Nice. Uh, allow friendly to this army. Go ahead. So, we want another battle. Uh, side with one family. No revolt, why not at this point? Uh, looks like someone's going to deal with those rebels. So, uh, let's go, let's try to go win this war right now. The rebels are just something we're gonna have to deal with. Maybe Castile will deal with it. So that would be quite nice if they, uh, did end up dealing with it. So, I occupied that land. So this war is going actually all right, it started off really, really bad. It could have been a lot worse, to be honest. Um, those rebels and everything are pretty bad. 
but I don't know quite how to uh, deal with it per se. Let's still a deal with those rebels there. Um, I think they're gonna connect with us, and so yeah, that should be fine. We are in need. Yes, let's just get their opinion higher of us. Awesome. I guess I guess we're getting into a battle with the steel here, which is not very good. Um. What is the war goal? Um, let's see. Defend capital. Where is that at? It's, is this this here? I think that might be the capital that they're defending. No, no, it's here. So. Oh. Oh, that's not good. The Stelians murdered us, as they tend to do. Um, national manpower or national tax? Yeah, let's do more taxes. Your boy loves the good old taxes. So my soldiers are getting sent away. Oh my goodness, another uh, embarrasses the court. God dang it. That's not good. Very bad. There's like no way for us to get there. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we're uh, hot out of luck. Looks like. If I'm gonna be honest. Looks like we're gonna uh, lose this uh, good old war. Unless we can hire a mercenary, which I'm going to try. That's our last hope, is this uh, mercenary here. So, hopefully... Oh my goodness, gain one stability. Yeah, we should leave them to their own affairs, I agree. Oh, please don't wipe these guys out. Oh, we actually won that battle. Hallelujah. That is fantastic. Um, these separatists here are just absolutely murdering us. So maybe we should uh, take them out. What is this peace offer? We offer successful seize blank to Morocco. Offerings of all tunes, we negotiate our entire alliance. Successful seed, blank to the Morocco, successful and treaties, and successful six ducats to Morocco and its allies. Ah, uh, yeah. Except. So they just uh, peaced out with us, which is good. The sus is now on our side for this war. Fantastic. That's exactly what I want to hear. And these rebels, I think, crushed my forces again. Nope, it's going to be close. Nope, we won against those rebels. But at what cost? Um, yeah, and so we actually got a territory of sus. Um, this is the ugliest war I've ever done in my life. It is not going very good. Um... Side with the Elmia. Didn't know how to pronounce that, but that was my, uh, that was my guess. Oh, those guys are getting stacked white. Our country is in ruins. Defend the capital. War goals to defend the capital. See, that's what I'm confused about, because we have their capital. So shouldn't they, like, want to, like, peace out or something like that? I'm not quite sure why we don't have, uh, more war score. Um. 
We control their capital, but I feel like we're not getting enough for that per se. I feel like that should uh that should be uh good. Um occupied besieged provinces. Thank the war. Hmm. Not quite sure. Maybe it's because they have so much siege, but I still feel like they lost their entire war goal, so. So I feel like that should be more of a problem than it is right now. Um, state maintenance, uh, move 25 port towards legalism. If we can occupy that somehow without them killing us, we should be good. But I feel like they're not gonna let us do that. My Sultan Naples entered a military alliance with Castile, so does that mean we're at war with Naples now too? Possibly. Um, we have to do something. Yeah, sure, throw all our money in it. I don't care. Dude, one percent. I I don't understand how we cannot peace out yet. They literally failed their war goal. That only gives me... Okay, I think it gives me a stack. Um, these rebels are really ruining my day. So... Let's just try to win this war. Can the rebels come in clutch? Possibly. Oh no. Not enough. What is it? Morocco will end all treaties with Tunis. Morocco pays 85 ducats. Ah! Uh, Decline. I think that is a bad deal for us. Castile is running away for some reason. Not quite sure why. VA is being pretty dumb, and I appreciate that. And I will continue to allow it to be that way. Call for peace, the... War is won. The war is won! Hey! The war is won. Can we just annex this place now? Yep, and give us all your gold. Oh my goodness! We won the war! Don't ask me how, or at what cost, but we, uh, we, uh, we won the war. Somehow. Can we, uh, pay our loan off? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we actually won. Okay guys, well this episode is super long, but we actually defended against Castile somehow. I'm not sure actually what happened or why it changed all of a sudden, but we defended. This video actually kind of went well. Uh, the first couple episodes will be hard to defend against uh, Portugal and Castile, but I guess somehow we did. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe for future episodes, and I'll see you in the future one. Goodbye.